guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, I will be reacting to reading to episode 4 of Jujutsu Kaisen. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <sighs> I mean, you're right about that, but I, I mean, he had no choice. <laughs> But he can't. Right? Oh god, his eyes are so fucking pretty! Mm. <laughs> I love men. I do so damn much, like, oh my god. <laughs> I wonder if she's gonna show up today. I mean, I mean, can you even handle him, though?
I mean, I would say do something to fucking stall until, like, at least maybe Gojo-sensei or anyone comes, but I don't know. Like, But that was then and this is now. That's completely different. He's fucking playing with him! way he just cried. Oh my. Let me not. I. I <laughs> That probably that, that's not gonna do anything on him. Mm, here he comes. Fuck. too high. Thank you. You are acknowledging that. There's nothing you can do. Well, I mean, to you, but to Megu, like, And she's probably only going to be in this one episode and I'm never going to hear her BA again until I watch another show her BA is in.
please don't lose against him. Oh my god. Ugh. My guess it's been like two, three weeks later. A couple of days, maybe. My guess is no one else can see them. I mean, it's like somebody would be tripping by. <laughs> But my thing is, if you were a fucking nerd, we would think would have been fine. But no, you decided to go on vacation. Of course. Oh, he's so cute. <laughs> I'm 
I mean, you might as well. Uh, we know he's gonna come back to life, but hey, how about it? At least one of you were in crying or anything. Unlike me, even though I know he's coming back. <laughs> exactly! <laughs> So now what? Hmm? Oh, okay. Okay, I mean, you know, <sighs> Maki, Neku, fucking Roxas, like, <laughs> this is another emo character that I'm gonna fall in love with immediately. Makes sense. I mean, might as well.
it's just hilarious that they're having a conversation in a fucking restaurant like this. Yeah, but th they're gonna bring them back. Yeah, of course, because, you know, the power of bullshit. <laughs> I mean, I'll say the second half of this episode went back, uh, went fast. The first episode was, the first half was like slow and that's okay, but I still loved it. I, I mean, these two about to have a freaking conversation in one body. This is some Kingdom Hearts-ish right here. Mm-hmm. Mash Xehanort and Sarah. <laughs> but okay. So Zen, I like her. I love the panda. He, he's very interesting. I mean, it's just, yes, it's Gilgamesh's VA, but he sounds like a mixture of his voice that he uses for Daru and a little bit of Gilgamesh and stuff. So I don't think I'm going to be like, I, I love him from afar. He did so adorable. I just want to hug him. But Maki, Maki. <laughs> My freaking freaking Ray. I, I I can't. Oh my god. <laughs> I oh <laughs> Exactly. I gotta be Still, take a bath. <laughs> so, what does he smell like? <laughs> oh, my God. oh, like the sun. So, like heat. Well, yeah, that makes sense. But yeah, that's exactly what it's looking like for Yuji's body. I mean, these two are about to possibly either fight for a couple of minutes, maybe more or less talk, and you know, in his like his dead body. But you know, he, he's gonna come back alive. We all know it's gonna happen. He's just gonna be, you know, MIA for an episode or two, maybe even three. Who knows how long that they'll stretch this out? But Maki, <laughs> I love him. <laughs> so precious and the fact that he's voiced by th oh my god he's playing three other characters who I love just as much and I cannot wait to hear him as my best boy again next year because of course he's gonna do such a good job and I can't wait and I want it to be next year right fucking now so I could see the anime but of course we gotta wait a little bit longer because Nomura and BS and everything because Nomura and everything but Oh, like, Maki's just so freaking adorable. Zen's cool. I like her a lot. I think, um, she may not be best girl yet for me because, you know, I like Bara so much, but she'll probably be second best girl. But Mr. Panda, like, Gilgamesh Panda. <laughs> I just want a plushie of him. That's all. I mean, oof. Like, mm. Just as much as I wanted, like, the freaking, what the heck was that? The... 
No, not a, the sloth. Oh my god, you <laughs> remember Fire Force and how I wanted like merchandise of him? You need to do that with him, with the panda, because that's where your sales. He's he's like the mascot of this show, so it would make the most sense to just make stuff for him. I'm just saying, because I would buy it in a freaking heartbeat. It's up to them at the end of the day. All right, like if it, even if it was just keychains, if it was a keychain or a button, I'd buy it. On Amazon, if it was on Amazon, but yeah, like, this episode just went by really fast. The fight was good at the beginning, I mean, like, oh, and it just, oh god, if, Sakasa and fucking Yuji, if they fight next week, like, oh my god, I can't, but yeah, it was a damn good episode, but other than that, guys, that was my reaction to towards episode 5 of Jujutsu Kaisen. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, join the Magic Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Friday for episode 6. Bye!